Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, it is a um a travel video again. So it's a vlog, and it's also a get ready with me too. So it's a bit, it's a bit of two videos in one really. Um, I've not long had my breakfast because the taxi's booked at eight. So we need to get down to the train station, and my train's due at eight forty-five. Sorry, eight forty-three this morning. I think so. It's roughly the same time as it was last week when we went to Manchester. And um, while going to Bradford for one of simon and steady's friends it's their 60th birthday party so we're going there tonight um i think it's at a social club i think so i'll i'll show you what i'm wearing and obviously um i'll do a little video as i'm doing my makeup as well later on just to give you a little bit of detail what i'm going to be doing in it um but yeah this is what i'm like at the minute i've not long woken up and um, i've had my breakfast I haven't had a coffee because i'll probably get a coffee at the station like I did last weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and get ready and I'll see you guys at the station. We've arrived at the station and we've arrived 30 minutes early for our train. Um, so we've got um, our goodies in the bed for the train. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> um, we're outside Costa at the minute. Um, I've got myself a caramel cappuccino and I've got Simon a Americano. Um, I've got him a large and I've got me a small because I don't really particularly finish off my coffee. I tend, I tend to waste it, which that's why I got myself a small because we've got loads of um, alcohol in the bag for on the train and obviously when we get to Steady's in Bradford. Um, my train's there at the minute. I think it came in around about 10 past, 10 past a quarter past eight. Um, and the time is 8.27 at the minute, so the train leaves at 8.43. As you can see, the, uh, the times are just up there as well. Um, but I'm going to split this and then hopefully get on the train and we'll see you in Bradford. Okay, so we've arrived at Bradford Interchange. As you come out to Bradford Interchange oh, yeah. Station, it's directly towards the Queen. So if you just keep walking, you'll see the Queen pub. Um, so we've just came in, we've got a pint. So we've got a pint for £2.80, which is a pint of Carlin. And then I got two Budweiser's for £5. Originally they're £3.65 each, so I thought we may as well just get two for five. They're in, they're in a bottle, just bear that in mind so they don't do it on tap. Um, it's very clean inside, very, very friendly. Um, toilets are, the toilets, the toilets are very spotless. <laughs> the toilets are spotless. <laughs> Sorry for stuttering. But yeah, the toilets are very spotless. We have very clean cleanliness and said so it's gonna pick you up at twelve. So I'll be as well drink this up. See you in a jiffy. I've arrived at Steady's about like twenty minutes ago now, so I've started to do my makeup for tonight. So I've done my brow. So the brow that I have used for the cream is the marker colour from Morphe, which is this colour here. That colour there as you can see and then i've used the concealer from my eyelids which is the pro longwear concealer from mac and the color is nw15 which is that one there obviously i'm keeping that on there for the eyelids and obviously the top of my brow um so that is it at the minute but i will go over the the brows and when I, once i've finished um but at the minute i'm going to go in with the Makeup palette, which is from Morphe, it is the Archery palette from Morphe. I'm going to use this color, this color, this color, and this color to do the brow, and then obviously, I'm going to go in with the liquid eyeliner to make it stand out a bit more. So, that's what I'm going to go in with now. But once I've done this, I'll come back and show you the finished look. Okay, so now I've done my eyes with the makeup palette with the Morphe palette, and um, I have used colors this one that one and that one and that one i don't have the names of it because i've taken out the um the plastic of the makeup palette um but the makeup palette is called the archery palette palette d miss n butte and um, it's like the neutral palette which i tend to use at the minute um but now i'm going to go in with the foundation which is the studio fix fluid fpf 15 which is this one here from MAC and then I'm going to add in the number 7 Stay Perfect which I use with that makeup foundation. If I've got tan on I tend to use that makeup foundation so it blends in with my skin colour. The foundation I use is the foundation it is SPF 30 colour and um, I think it's the color of the one above it I think it is. 
it is called Carlo, which is, is Carlo, and then I tend to use that one together to have got a bit of tannin at the minute. So this is the eyebrow at the minute, the eyelids. Once I've gone with the foundation, I will go in with the um, liquid eyeliner, which is from Maybelline. It's Wonder Ink, which is this brand right here. It is a liquid pen that I tend to use. So when I use the liquid eyeliner, I do go up in straight line so it looks like when i close my eyes it looks like it's a straight line and when i open them it looks like yeah so we'll be using that so i'm going to go in with the liquid foundation i'm going to give this a good shake at the minute and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my beauty blender put a dip of that on stab it round the face just get a bit of it just dab it round the face like so all over the face for exact and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the number seven foundation which is the carlio and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little, little dab of that and then i'm going to dab that as well all over the face as well so i get the right concentration color what i need for my skin and the reason why i haven't changed for in case i get foundation on my clothes and um, this top's only from Primark, so I'm not really bothered if I get foundation on this. It only costs this two pound fifty. So, right, okay. Once that is dabbed in, I'm just gonna dab it in. The best way for your foundation is just to get a beauty blender, make sure it is moist, which it is, and then all you're gonna do is just dab it in like so. Then, once you dab it in with the Mac foundation, it is a fluid foundation. Um, for the MAC foundation, the Studio Fix, it goes a long way. You only just need a little bit of it, which is good. Um, but with the number seven, it does not it's not a full coverage. So I've got freckles. With me having freckles, I need more foundation on my skin to cover my freckles up if I'm going out. So I need at least two or three coats at a push. So as you can see... I'm just Is it on the indoor mode? Okay, no. dabbing it in like so and then when I come to the brow I just dab like so and then what I'll do is I'll come back in when I do the concealer. Okay so now I'm going in with the Wonder, Wo Wonder Ink, not Wonder Woman, Wonder Ink um, liquid liner so I'm going to take my makeup palette because it has got a mirror on the palette so what I'm going to do, ooh. That was not meant to happen. Okay, so now I have done the eyebrows with the makeup palette. So I'm going in with the Maybelline ink, which is the liquid eyeliner. So as you can see, I have got a mirror on here at the minute. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in at the minute. I'm going to go in with the, a line at the top. And then from the onward end of my eye, I'm going to go up and match it at the top. like so and then I'm going to take it from the cat eye all the way around like so and meet and now I'm going to draw that in like so Because once you've done that, you're basically going to do the same as the other eyelids. Once you've done that, I will so show you the finished look completely once I'm dressed and everything. Because it's going to take a while because I need to be dressed for 3 o'clock and I've only got an hour to get dressed. So, I'll see you in a jiffy. Hey everyone, just like you know, I have done my makeup and this is the final look. I've done like half a head. Um, this is me up for that I'm wearing Um, I have got like a clutch bag, so I'm wearing like a bodysuit with some jeans, a pair of open heels, and then I'll have like my clutch bag ready for the party. It is a social club, so I thought I would like dress casual and dress down rather than dressing up. 
So I have done my makeup. Um, the bodysuit is from Lipsy. I've had it for like a year and a bit now. It's a size 10. The jeans are from Next. They are sculpt jeans and they are in the petite section. If you wanted to know, they are a size 12 because the 10 would have been a bit too tight. The heels are from in, from Primark from last weekend. They are a size 4. I had to go up a size in Primark due to being small and obviously my ankles are a bit bigger than actually my feet. Um, Jewelry that I've got on at the minute is Swaski, Swaski. Be sorry, Beaver Brooks, Be Beaver Brooks, Swaski, my mum's um, internity ring before she passed away, she said I could have it, so we really miss you. Um, my, um, my ring that I got from Pandora, um, ring I got from town, um, bracelet I got for Christmas, um, um, bracelet I got from Swaski, thing I got from Amazon and Pandora and Vivian Westwood, so yeah, I'm ready for the party. So we are in Blackpool Clayton pub right now and the pint is £2.55 for a pint. So if you come into Halifax slash Bradford, come here, yeah, it's quite cheap for a pint. Yay! Bye. 